All right, good morning, everybody. So big weekend for some sporting events. So why don't we just get straight to it since our weather is fairly quiet for this morning. We can start off with some sports. Let's talk about some college football. If you're heading out to Lafayette this weekend, here's what you could expect. Uh, the morning into the 70s and it's going to be hot all around, but at least it's going to stay on the dry side. So that's that one. Let's also go to LSU. So if you're heading out to Baton Rouge, here's what you could expect. Dry and hot. But a little bit warmer. Look at this heat index 102 if you're hanging out after the game. And then let's talk about the Saints game. If you're tailgating in the morning, it's going to be into the 70s and then 80s eventually right before the game. And then as you're leaving the game, going to be into the 90s. So going to be a hot one either way it goes. But I will say at least we're going to stay on the dry side. So let's talk about the tropics. National Hurricane Center right now watching three systems or three potential areas of development. So here's one, here's two. But the one that we really want to focus on is right here. It's in the Caribbean and a little bit for the Gulf. So 40% chance of seeing some development within the next seven days. So likely by the time we get to the beginning to the middle of next week, we'll start to see something forming and then that'll make it easier to track or we'll have a better direction of where this thing is going to go. So it could form anywhere within this orange. And some models trying to take it on off to the east, others trying to take it on off to the west towards Mexico. So still very early and this is going to develop very, very slowly just because of the location. We are starting to see a couple of storms trying to brew together, uh, still very disorganized at this point. But again, likely going to be talking about something developing as we get to the middle of next week. So of course, we'll be on top of the tropics for you. We got some uh, a very detailed article online that you can check out as well. All right, so as far as the rest of your forecast goes, well, right now, most of us are dry. We're looking at a couple coastal showers. I was looking at some showers just near Cocodry, but now it looks like you guys are almost dry. It's just a little shower up to the north of you, but honestly, most of us going to stay dry throughout the day. I don't really have big rain chances for you at all. So if you're looking for rain, probably not going to get it today. Here's what we are dealing with. This is why this is happening. We're looking at some high pressure on off to our west. That's pushing on off to the east, and so that's going to bring us some dry weather. And then not only that, though, temperature temperature is going to be above average. I even got some heat advisories in Arkansas, so I know we're getting close to fall. Just know it's very unusual across the rest of the country too. Temperatures right now starting off this morning, 70 up in Bogalusa. You've got some 80s along the coast, 82 Bell Chase this morning. So decent start to your morning, not too muggy out there. Uh, but look at what we're dealing with later on. So we are talking about our highs to be into the upper 80s, lower 90s, but going to feel like we're into the mid to upper 90s. Wouldn't be surprised if a couple of us felt like we were about 100. So it's going to be a hot one, not only today, but as we head into the next couple of days, your highs for today. I do have a lot more 90s on the board. Actually, uh, we got uh, to 93 yesterday, so very likely going to see that same temperature range as we get to later in the afternoon, and we'll also see that as we approach the weekend. All right, so here's a look at your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. Set more 90s on the board for you. More chances for rain next week, but this weekend is looking amazing. Just make sure you find somewhere to cool off.